everyone. Welcome. Um, we'll use the bolster today, so make, make sure you have one. Um, and two blocks and a strap if you want a blanket or um, extra cushioning through our class. You're more than welcome to grab one. Um, we're doing a lot with a bolster today. Um, I'm leaning more towards um, 
a soothing practice, not very vigorous. Um, you'll get your vinyasa in though, for sure. Hi, welcome. So yeah, we're gonna start um, on our back. You'll, um, I feel it's best to, to have the bolster to the side and then slide it underneath you. I think it's awkward to lie over the bolster, but um, you know, you'll decide. So you'll come to lie down and we've got those handles on the side. You're gonna take the handles and slide the, the bolster right under your pelvis. Oh, have your strap nearby. Sorry about that. So strap nearby, bolster under pelvis, under lower back, because now we have a much wider platform, lots of cushioning, um, much bigger than a block. Okay, so pelvis, lower back. And then you can do, so you can do from this point whatever you want with your legs and your arms. Some ideas would be to uh, lengthen the legs forward. You could bring the soles of the feet together, knees apart. You could also bring your arms all the way back behind you. Goal post your arms, just whatever you need in this moment. Good, excellent. And then begin to imagine your breath as something you can actually see. You could think of it as the breeze and the wind, at the breeze and the or a wind, something like that. Um, a movement. And then imagine the breath moving upward towards the shoulders. And if your breath feels caught or restricted, I would say definitely take, take your arms out or further back to get, give the lungs a little bit more space. And in general, in the yoga practice, we dictate breathing in and out through the nose, but there's something to say about exhaling through the mouth. There's perhaps that audible sigh, relaxing also the jaw and the throat and the tongue. And then as you breathe up into the shoulders, also breathe down into your pelvis. So you could also think of the breath moving up and down. So pranavayu, apanavayu, like looking for Space in the shoulders, looking for space in the pelvic floor. Hi, welcome. And with your exhales, really softening the belly, softening so as it's this big muscle that connects our body from lower half to upper half softening around the sides of your body, the lower back, you might be holding on. Okay. So very natural and normal for our bodies to hold on to muscle, to things. Hi, welcome. So can you perhaps with your eyes closed, so there's no like outward distraction, so notice if you're gripping anything, lower back, outer hips, inner, inner groin, 
hip flexors, that whole area. But then you could also be holding all the way up to the shoulders, the neck. Scan your body. Those of you that just walked in, you'll need two blocks and a strap as well for practice. You might nod your head from side to side. So be, we'll begin some movement now, nodding the head and just like feeling the heaviness of your skull and then rolling on the back of your skull from side to side. And then pause that and take your arms uh, all the way back behind you like you're about to do a stadium wave. So all the way back, you know, be sure that your whole lower half of the, the pelvis lower back is on your bolster. Okay. And then um, bring the arms down by your side, have the palms kind of land on the bolster or your arms land on the bolster and then take the arms back behind you. So just just really fluidly, just moving the arms forward and back, um, getting creating some movement in the shoulders and space in the shoulders. And as you move the arms, the breath might get deeper or fluctuate differently. You might notice more saliva in the mouth. All of these are good things. A few more times. Okay. Bring the arms behind you and then um, bring your knees and let them spill in towards your chest. If you have to hold your legs, do that. Otherwise, let the arms kind of be really soft. It might be an O shape of the arms behind you. Let the knees kind of spill fill in so that the bolster is creating this softening around the lower back is helping you um, lengthen and relax. There might be some movement for sure. Like maybe there's some movement of the legs. And then begin to lengthen your legs up towards the ceiling. Keep your arms behind you for a moment and look at your feet and point and flex your feet. Circle the ankles around. Squeeze your toes, spread the toes. See how much length you can create in the backs of your knees. And then bring the um, left foot to the floor, but you'll take the hands and hug the right leg into your chest. Um, right foot to floor, or it could be that the left, sorry, the left leg to the floor. Sorry, it's Monday. Um, left leg to the floor, left heel on the floor, hug your right knee in. Um, and then the length of your left leg, like you can lengthen it all the way, okay? But you don't have to. Might be a bend in the knee. Catch your strap and then you'll loop the strap over your right foot. Lasso it perhaps, catch it. And this is a pose we do fairly often. It's just a little bit different with a, with a bolster. You might be able to get deeper into uh, the bigger muscle groups. So with the yin, there's the yang, the yin of the bolster, the yang of our muscles. And then you can walk your hands as high up as you like. You can really let the arms hang and the shoulders be heavy. 
you might be um, some things you might be doing here is like flex, really flexing your right foot, spreading the toes, getting into the back of the uh, calf muscle there. You could bend the right knee just a tiny bit. Um, you could also really bend the right knee. Okay, so the idea here is that you're exploring within this posture what you want to feel in your body. Achilles, calf, hamstrings, all kinds of things. Even the quads of the front of the left thigh, left hip flexor. You could push the left heel down if you want more young. Let's slide the hands down the strap ends and take the hands wide to the floor like Virabhadrasana 2. Okay, hopefully your strap is long enough even if your hands are off the floor. So the front of the chest is, um, is like warrior two and the front of the arms are like warrior two. And then sort of soften the legs and pull with your hands. Can you kind of even out the work in your body as you work with the strap? Let the head be heavy. Are you rigid in the belly? Can you soften the belly? Can you breathe up into the belly? Can you exhale down into the spine? And then put a little more action in the legs. So let's say true L position. Bring the left heel off the floor for some of us and then really accentuate the, the quads working here, being in the L pose. So lots of things might be happening in your body. The chin might be tucking, shoulder blades gathering, work in the hands. And you toggle, toggle between what's softening, what's working. All right, bring your left foot to the floor. Take both ends of the strap into your right hand. You'll take the right leg out to the right and there should be plenty of bolster there for your right outer hip can also take the right elbow to the floor and then your left leg like what what do you need how much do you want to lengthen it do you want to keep the knee bent do you want to bring the uh, left knee to your chest do you want to bring the left foot off the floor all of those actions are going to affect your right side and then try to keep all of your pelvis rooting down into your bolster. Okay, so the left butt cheek isn't lifting up. You're sort of squeezing it a little bit, maybe bringing some weight onto that side. You could also take the left arm way back behind you. Left foot to the floor, right leg up, switch your hands. Right leg to the left, but you're just crossing the midline, so you're not really going all the way to the left. Um, and then your left foot will press down into the floor and nod your left knee to the right. So you're doing this crisscross action. If you were in my classes last week, very similar. Um, and then right outer hip to the top of your mat. So right thumb can go into the right hip crease and you can manipulate your hip to move further away from the top of your body. Okay. 
bring your right leg back to regular. Take your left foot into the strap as well, so both feet are in the strap. And just be sure your bolster is really supporting your lumbar spine, your lower back here, right below the, the, the lower ribs. And then hold on to your strap, and it's Uttanasana on your back. So one side will certainly feel a little bit different than the other side. And pull the gently guide you both your legs towards your chest. Knees can be bent. It's not about straight legs, okay? Sense into what your body needs. And then let the lower belly soften, recede towards the pelvic floor. Breathe up into your shoulders. And you might even have the whole pelvis off the bolster. You might teeter with just a little bit of the lower back on the bolster, really up to you. What would happen if you pointed your feet, if you flexed your feet? Okay, bring your legs back up and then um, take the strap off your feet for just a moment and bring your feet to the floor. Bring the soles of the feet together and the knees apart in Baddha Konasana. Perhaps adjust a little bit, wiggle a little bit, get comfortable. And then in, um, in the shape, the butterfly shape, Push your feet into each other a little bit. Push the right foot into the left foot a little bit. Push the left foot into the right foot. Just kind of go back and forth. Notice your inner legs, your pelvic halves. Kind of shift and move like tectonic plates. And on this round, we'll start with elevated Baddha Konasana. So the feet will come off the floor and then your hands will catch the inside of your legs. So catch your inner ankles, catch what you can catch. Then the elbows can go wide inside the inner knees and you'll press your elbows into your inner knees and make your legs a little bit wider. And then you can Bring your heels down towards your groin area as much as you'd like. You could also hold the outer edges of your feet. Okay, so grab what you can grab. Play with push-pull. Push in, pull the legs away. Push with your hands, pull. Elbows might go outside shin bones. That's a little bit further in. and then softening belly, softening belly with your exhales. Good. Let's do the left side, right foot to the floor, hug the left leg in, catch your strap when you're ready, and you'll take the strap over your left foot, lengthen it up. Okay, so right leg again, one side get you into the pose really it's your thing it's your exploration it's personal you might lengthen the right leg you could bend the right knee how high are you going to walk your hands up your strap let the shoulders heavy And then notice the back of your Achilles, your calf, your knee joint. Micro bending the right, the left knee, lengthening the left leg. 
Maybe big bend in the left knee, like a lunge on your back. That'll get further into your groin. Try not to escape your practice by thinking about other things. A few more breaths. both ends of the strap into your left hand. Okay, left leg to the left. You have that stopping point with a bolster. Left elbow can be right on the floor. Right hand could be on the top of your right front hip. Anchor, 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 right side. And then right arm can go also behind you stretch big side body lengthening right side Bring your left leg back up. Okay, bring your right foot to the floor to start. And then take your left leg to the right side, crisscross. Guide your right knee to the left side. You can push right foot into floor as you do that. Also left thumb into left hip crease. Move the left outer hip down a little. <clears throat> and then hang out here and squeeze your inner legs. You might be on the outer edge of your left foot like beer two foot. Bring your leg back up. Take both your feet into the strap, Uttanasana. Pull the legs towards you gently, any amount. Elbows can be wide, wide to the side. Try to heavy the head and the shoulders. <clears throat> your feet could be matching, like big toes touching, flexing or pointing, or just like very soft in the feet. You might tip the chin away from the chest and look back behind you. That could, might feel good in the front of the throat. And also having your gaze somewhere else. Okay, bring the legs back up. Upa Vista on the back. So wide straddle on your back just as wide as you can manage, as wide as your strap. Okay, nice wide straddle, bend the knees if you need to. Again, press through the heels as if they're on the floor. Flex your feet. Guide your inner ankles out. You might do somewhat of like a forward fold here. So you could pull your legs 
towards you or toward like towards the shoulders a little bit. <clears throat> you might be able to catch your feet. So obviously you'll know that just like automatically. Okay, you could walk your hands up towards your feet with the strap. And then any amount of pelvis off bolster, maybe not. And then just like skandasana, you'll bend one knee and then the other. Don't think too much about it. You might swing the hips from, from side to side. Push your feet out into the strap. Hold on tight. <clears throat> okay, and then slide the legs together. Take the strap off your feet. Lengthen your legs straight all the way forward. Okay, and then reach your arms, full body stretch. Reach your arms back behind you. Interlace your thumbs, perhaps pull on your thumbs or interlace all your fingers. And stretch, stretch, stretch the front of your body. Point or flex your feet. Okay, and then feet to the floor. Um, you could roll to the side and push up. You could also kind of like rock up and sit on your bolster. Hi. Um, okay, sit on your bolster, a few things seated. Bend your left knee, lengthen your right leg. Okay, and then take your left leg out into half bada, so half bada konasana. Um, so your left leg's out here, and then your le right leg is lengthening. Okay, forward fold or grab your strap and loop it around your foot. You could be in the middle of the bolster with your butt. You could also be hanging sort of at the front edge of the bolster. Any amount of a forward fold. Come up a little bit, left hand to outer right foot, left hand to outer uh, leg area, left hand to block. Um, and then you might catch the back of the bolster. So it's like a forward fold, twisty thing. And then twist. You can pull on the back side of that bolster with your palm. Okay, come back to seated. You'll sit in soles of the feet together, knees apart. Um, bring the heels in towards your bolster as much as you want to. Hands can be on the ankles. You can push your legs down with your elbows. You can also have your hands forward. Okay, so you might just like feel into those inner legs. Don't hold your breath. Okay, let's lengthen left leg. Bend right knee, take left leg out to the side. First, it's a forward fold over the left leg. <clears throat> and 
Then you're inviting the right hand to hold the outer left foot. You could take the hand just across, not just, but just bring it over there and then twist towards the left side as you lean in. Catch the back of your bolster, hold on. And then make your way back up. Okay, this part might, um, you know, be okay for everybody, but you're going to bring your heels it's kind of like the arches of the foot matches the front side of the bolster. If this doesn't work for you, um, just come to some sort of squat here where the heels are maybe touching the front edge of the bolster. Okay. So not malasana. And then um, you could bring your arms inside and round and cozy inside your arms. You can also take the hands behind your head. Okay, so there's lots of things. You could bring the hip fingertips forward. You can have your arms outside your legs. <clears throat> you could also tip forward. Okay, tip into the hands, push. And then you might also do like a wider leg, bring the legs out. Okay, so groin area. We're in a squat. Mm, similar to Bakasana. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And then you'll hands to floor, whatever, however you can get into this, but a forward fold, feet on the floor. Okay, so just come into Uttanasana. Um, and uh, grab your opposite elbows, let the head hang. Rock from side to side. Good. And then look for your bolster. Bring it in front of you. Grab the handles and bring it up to stand. All right. Bring the bolster above your head. Something a little bit more energetic with some load. Okay. So arms are wide, as wide as your bolster. And just notice mountain pose. Bring the ribs into the back body. Tuck your tailbone slightly under. And notice the bolster above your feet. Maybe they like match the weight of the feet. You could rock a little bit forward and back. A few more moments, a few more breaths. And then you'll bring the bolster behind you. Okay, so you've got your fingers here. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then we'll do a cell, like a little assist with the bolster back bend. So the two piece fingers are in your strap and you'll push the pelvis forward. You'll kind of look back, let the, let the head like just hang out back there, but notice the thoracic spine, your upper back leaning into the bolster to, to assist you to lift your upper back as your legs are sort of neutral. Okay. and then you'll flip the bolster in front of you and you'll bring it off to the side. Okay, have your, um, have your blocks at the top of your mat just ready and we'll do Surya Namaskar A's now. Okay, so stand at the top of your mat. Good, all right. Tadasana Mountain Pose. The Maha of all poses is this pose. All poses come from this posture, from standing. 
Inhale your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Take your time. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back to your first plank. It might be with the knees down. And then lower chaturanga. So you can pick cobra or upward facing dog. And then pushing back to downward facing dog. <clears throat> Look forward, bend your knees, bring your feet up towards your hands, halfway lift, breathing in and then exhale as you forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Hands to your heart center as you exhale. Okay, again, Surya A, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, plank pose, slowly lower Chaturanga, Untuck your toes and push the tops of your feet down. And then back to downward facing. Bring your feet up towards your hands. Halfway lift, forward fold, inhale up, hands to heart. Okay, one more time, inhale, Surya A, and fold, <clears throat> halfway, plank pose, Lower your plank. Into downward facing dog. Look forward and bring your feet up towards your hands. Halfway lift, forward fold. Come on up. Hands to your heart center. Okay, tree pose. Stand on your right leg and bring your left leg up. Yes, good. Bring that right outer hip to the left side. Yes, move it into the left side. Yep. Then you can do whatever you want with your arms, maybe long, maybe interlace your thumbs. Good. Step the foot down. And bring your arms down by your side. Other side, tree pose. Step the foot down. All right, bring the arms down by your side. Um, the next one, let's use a strap. Um, we'll bring, we'll, we're doing just one of the standing Hasa P series. So I'll have you bring the left knee into the chest 
and then you'll hook your foot okay and you'll lengthen your leg we're not going to the side just straight forward today okay so we did this on the bolster on our back you might hear with a, you might be here listen you might be here lengthening your leg okay you might have your leg lengthened all the way forward so left leg up now I say this often because I see it a lot. Don't go water skiing, okay? Lean back when you're water skiing, but don't lean back when you're doing this yoga pose. <laughs> okay, so Tadasana, meaning like you're doing mountain pose. Yep. Good. You could free up the right arm and bring the right arm up. Good. Try not to hold your breath. So just one more fluid breath here. These are beautiful. Okay, and then you'll release and stand. Okay. Sometimes the awareness is on the up leg. Like sometimes we're like, I have to keep my leg up. It has to be straight. I'll focus a lot on your standing leg too. Okay, the muscle, the muscles of the standing leg, that trepidous nature of being on one foot let your foot wobble around and pay attention to your foot wobbling around that's the strength move okay other side you can direct your gaze at one point so you don't have to move the eyes around that's going to help your balance a little bit Nice job. Release the strap, bring it to the floor, stand in mountain pose. Okay, it's towards the front of your mat. Your palms um, facing, let's do facing by the thighs. Okay, and then take your arms up towards the sky, Ordva Hastasana, forward fold, halfway lift, and step back to a downward facing dog. Bring your right leg up straight behind you. Open your hip and bend the knee like half Baddha Konasana. So flex the foot or point the foot. Yep. Nice job. And then step your right foot forward to the front of your mat and bring your back knee to the ground. And then um, you'll grab your bolster. Um, so it's the knee down lunge, but I want, would like for you to put the bolster underneath your left knee. Okay. This is where your blocks are there if you want to have hands-on blocks. Okay, we're having a stretchy moment. All right, hands can be on the floor. Having your knee up higher off the floor might invite more intensity. So you might be like, mm, I want my knee on the floor. Okay. Lean into that right knee, deep knee lunge, lunge split. You have space to also point the left foot behind you like a pigeon back leg. You could swivel your hips forward and back. Take your right foot wider. Okay, so like, let's say lizard. You can turn the right foot out to the side like a half squat foot. And then you might take your arms down further to blocks or the floor. Take your time. Ah, 
How's your breath? Come up to your hands. And then take your left palm to a block floor wide. Okay, so not on your mat. Take your right arm up. And then reach the right arm back behind you. Like think right shoulder blade into the back. Open the chest super wide and push your palm firmly down into the floor like you're doing um, an arm balance. Okay, then bend your left knee. Point the foot. Maybe you'll catch your foot. Okay, maybe. You can take the gaze up behind you, down. Okay, release. Look at your bolster. Slide it so that, th that it's actually centered. Take your le uh, right knee to the bolster and then take your thighs on the bolster. Okay, so we'll do floating up dog. Thighs, um, pubic bones, yes. Really depends on your anatomy, but something like a floating up dog. Okay, point your feet, they're on the floor, press them down. And then we'll do these like uh, or push-ups, but what you're doing is bringing your chest to the floor, but floating your feet up off the floor and then pushing back up. Okay, two more. Super straight, push back up. Okay, and then tuck your toes under, bring your hands underneath your shoulders a bit, and then come halfway down to Chaturanga. Come all the way back up to floating uh, up dog and then press back to downward facing dog. And your forehead might touch the bolster. Okay, the bolster's there for your right knee now. So heave ho, left leg over, right knee down. Okay, first it's the regular hands on blocks or the floor. Think of length of spine, not just rounding the spine. So you could once in a while bring your chin forward, bring your head up a little bit, find that extension. You could also hunker down and round. Untuck your right toes, press the top of your foot down. Okay, take your foot wider. Turn the toes out a little bit. Forearms to blocks, the floor. You stay up on your hands. Come up to your hands. This is that twist. Okay, so take your right hand to the floor or a block. Bringing the hand up higher, it might invite more length in your left arm to reach for your foot. Okay, there's always a reason for props. Hold the foot if you want to. Yep, you are going in that direction. Nice job. 
Roll the shoulders back. And then you'll release and you'll go to floating chaturanga or let's say floating up dog to start. I love this. I don't have as much shit going on in my lower back when I do bolster stuff. Okay, point, point the feet, push the tops of your feet down and do use your hands, like push the hands down and move the shoulders back behind you. Lift your belly, don't spill the lake of the belly. Okay, and then you'll dip the chest down, but you bring your legs up. Like a pranam, like a, a bowing, and then lift up. And you might bow to something today. You might be grateful about something or bring somebody's name into your headspace. Back to floating up dog into child's pose bring your knees to the floor and you can let the arms be on the bolster you could also listen do your bolster the long ways shove it between your legs and then wide knees and then your whole torso is there on the bolster chin can be there heavy or softened Breathe into outer ribs, breathe into belly. Good, make your way back up. Definitely turn your bolster the long ways and you'll come to sit on it with a strap nearby in a Virasana. Sit on the edge a little bit so your knees can be closer together. Okay, so you're here, so you're kind of at, this, at the edge of the seat. And then your bolster, I mean your strap, and you'll take your strap You'll do some shoulder passes. You could do side bends, bring your fingertips to the floor and pull up on the on the strap. Mm -hmm. Anchor your sitting bones down. Shoulder passes, side bends. Okay, I'm going to throw some more things out there. Cat cow. Like when the straps behind you arc your spine, when it's in front of you, round and tuck your tailbone and pull on the strap. Okay, camel, ustrasana. So, one would be like higher up, tuck toes, super great. Um, you could take your strap up and pull on the strap. You could also, because you're higher, you could also grab your heels. You could have hands on hips. Okay, so nice cushioning. For Ustrasana. Turn it sideways. Yep. And then bring your shins, knees to your bolster. Have your strap. And um, you'll start with a strap. And then you're going to go deeper into your camel. 
bring the strap above you, pull it, and move your hips forward, tuck the tailbone. Okay, think expansion, front body. You could take the strap behind your skull, right behind the head, and then you would support the head and pull the knuckles up towards the sky and let the head drop into the strap as you do camel. Lift the chest, go up and back. So go up first and then back. You might also at some point sit on the heels and then um, you would do maybe a full camel ride here where you hug the heels with your hands. Okay, you could do one arm at a time. Okay. You could go back to that same posture. Yep. Switch your arms. Okay, and then you'll sit on the heels and toe crunch. So the toes are tucked under, you'll sit on your heels. Okay, when you're done. And try to move back so that you're sitting on all of the major toes, toe areas there. Hands can be on the floor for less. Okay, so less around the foot, around the ankle, the toes. Garland could be here. Okay, so the heels come to the floor. You could also hop up on your bolster, do bakasana. Lean into your hands. Yeah, good. Fingertips, so chaturanga arms. Yep. Yeah, good. Squeeze your legs in. Good. Look forward. Yep, good. Fingertips. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Squeeze those heels in. Okay. few things you can finish with. One is a restorative posture with a strap. So you'll loop your strap up. Um, and I'm, it's Baddha Konasana, reclined on a bolster. So those of you that know it might want to do it. Full splits on a bolster um, or on the floor. You could do full splits. Um, you could also go into handstand. You could also, I'm going to show two poses. First, I'm going to show shoulder stand. So you're sitting on the floor. Now I'm going to roll over my bolster till my shoulders come on the floor. It's a variation of shoulder stand. Okay, and then the legs would come up. Okay, notice lower back, pelvis is on the floor. You could be here. You could also, I'm going to walk around and help. Okay, you're going to take this around your body. And the strap, um, helps to bring the legs in, in this shape. So the strap is through the legs, inside the legs, like when we were holding our hand, bring your hands there. Okay. Then you want the tail of the strap to face you, y'all. So, okay, you want, so you can pull on it. Okay. Then you have your mighty purple bolster or black or blue, whatever it is. All right. And you'll sit at the edge and then you could go back. And this could pull on the lower back in a, in a good way, okay? In a good way. It's also opening your groin, okay? Head could be on a block. I am going to walk around to look at your organization, okay? Um, but you could be here. So 
So inside your legs, inside your legs, that way, and around the outer edges of your feet. Oh, okay. yeah. So your strap isn't even fastened. It has to, you have to put it through the two D rings and then around through one for it to actually, um, you know, stay tight. Yeah. Okay. And then I don't know if you want your head back. I wasn't teaching that, but you certainly can. Okay. So the other way would be this way and then your head would be resting there. Yeah, you're welcome. And then you would pull on that and that's where you feel like there's some sort of a stretch. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> you looked very worried. Okay, over your body. Yeah. And then around the outer edges of your feet. So bring the feet together. So the feet together. Yep. And then you're going to pull on that and, and lie back. But how tight you want this to be is up to you. Yeah. And then you let him let go. Yep. Do you want this for your head or no? Are you good? Okay. You're good? Everybody good? Okay. into that beautiful wide abdomen. Do you want your head back like that? Okay, it looked a, a little bit intense. For a moment, do see what the arms are doing. Okay, maybe take them a little wider. Opening the front of the chest. Yep, opening the front of the shoulders. Especially when we do forward fold jobs, okay, or jobs that round the front of the shoulders. If you feel like you need to get out of your strap and lengthen your legs forward or do something else for another minute and a half, go ahead and do that now. Otherwise, stay here.
begin to deepen, lengthen your breath. Take your time and make your way up to a seat, but do it gently. You can sit right on your bolster. You don't have to, but you can. If you choose palms together at the heart center as a way of sealing your practice like we would seal an envelope. Breathe into another day. Om peace, Om Shanti, Namaste. Thanks everybody, thank you for coming. Have a wonderful week, see you around. Let's help each other out um, to bring the bolsters up on top, okay? And I'll see you around. Take your time. Thank you, Somebody would turn on that light in the corner. Thank you. Thank you.